Hey there, and thank you for watching, and welcome to this Plan With Me for Monday, April 15th. I hope you got your taxes done, or at least filed an extension if you haven't. So in this sort of Plan With Me series, I, I watch some people's um, Plan With Me's. I don't watch a ton. Um, but I haven't really seen anyone do it the way that I plan, so I'm trying to sort of refine my process because what I do is like a retroactive. Um, so I review the week previous and then I sit down and I look at the week upcoming and say, okay, based on my plan and my actual for the previous week, what am I going to plan and actually do for this upcoming week? And I haven't really seen anyone do that. Um, I'd love, I know people use like stickers and stuff, but there, I don't really, I can't see a way to do that yet. Um, I guess the more that I do it, I'll, the better I'll get and the more ideas I'll have. But please let me know um, your feedback on this and if you like this um, or if not. So to begin, I'm going to review last week. So that would be Monday, April 8th to Sunday, April 14th. And I'll show you my layout. This is again, my plum paper planner in the six by nine size. And I'll show you what I planned to do um, for this week and what actually ended up happening. So here on the side, these, this is my week priorities. Um, and this is really, I guess, what was really helpful to finish each task. That was number one, the most important thing, especially at work. And I really found myself thinking about this and remembering this as I was working. So that was super helpful to have that in my brain as I was going through my work day. Um, my week to do's, um, I guess one out of three. Um, so I did, I have continued to post a video every day. I have not looked into my notary commission yet. Um, and I have my car registration. I just need to send that out before the end of the month. Um, we goals list 50 items that didn't happen. Um, and I'll explain why and then close the books for March. I'm actually in the process of doing that for my eBay store side hustle business. So looking at the week, what I actually plan to do and what, what actually ended up happening. I did, I work, so I work nine to five every day, every day at my uh, main job. Um, and then at 6 p.m. I did teach at the music studio that I teach in, in town. Two of my students didn't show, which was sad. I was kind of sad about that um, because they're getting ready for a competition and I was kind of disappointed, um, but oh well. Um, then I had therapy in the morning on Tuesday. I worked and then I taught my private student, my second private student um, uh, on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday I had a, I worked and then I did a, um, a rehearsal for an orchestra that I'm playing with also in town. Um, and then after that, I just, that morning, Wednesday morning, I woke up and said, I haven't been to the gym gym in a while because I've been doing hot yoga um, and I have this, this gym membership. So I'm like, let's, let me go to the gym. So I packed a bag in the morning and then after rehearsal, I went to the gym. Um, but to my, like, I'm a member at Retro Fitness and I went there after rehearsal and I worked out for about an hour and I came, came home. It was great. Um, it was really good to be, um, out and moving. I, I really enjoy that gym because the people are super friendly and it's, there's a wide variety of people. So there are like, they're college students, they're retirees, they're like those big buff, like gym dudes, like gym bros. Um, and then there are, they're like, you know, like working people that come in after work as well. So it's, it's a good variety of people. And I just like being in that atmosphere of people who are focused on their health. So that was a good, um, addition to my week for Wednesday. Um, Thursday I went to work and then liked the gym so much. I packed a bag and went again after work. Then after that, I, so my plan at the beginning of the week was to have Thursday and Friday to list this. I didn't do because, and looking back on it, this is why my friend had called, um, one of my best friends of life was like, kind of needed some company. So I went over and we watched, um, went over to his house and we watched, um, Fosse Verdon, the new FX show. Um, and I'm not even like a big Broadway or dance person. I love dance. Um, but this show was really, really good. It's very character and sort of, um, I would call what I call character plot driven. So it's like you, you wonder what happens next and how the characters are going to react. So, um, I really enjoyed it. And it was executive produced by their daughter, Diane um, Verdon and Bob Fosse's daughter. So it was like her, um, inside look on their, their life and their partnership. So really, really compelling and a good night. So that's what I did after the gym. I went over to his house. I did not list. And this is like, I, I very clearly see here where, um, my choices are affecting, um, 
I, I guess, uh, how I'm making choices. Like, do I go over and spend time with my friend or do I stay home and list? Um, and in this, tr it, and it wasn't that clear in the moment. It was like, oh, he needs some company. So I went over. Um, it wasn't, let me put my listing first. So that was just kind of like brought home to me that in that those two hours that I spent, I could have been listing, um, but I chose instead to invest in a friend. So just kind of an interesting um, situation in transaction, um, the time that I chose to, to spend there. Anyway, um, just good to see in, in hindsight. And I don't regret it because I had a great time with him and I really enjoy spending time with him. So moving on to Friday, it is the time of the month where we have um, our billing is due for the previous month. So I was kind of finishing up that and I ended up staying at work until like 8 p.m. So that was an eight to eight day. Um, it just is. It happens every month. Um, it just is. I went to the gym after that. So I was at the gym from about eight to 9.50. Um, then I came home. And that was my Friday. So that's what happened instead of doing billing on or doing listing on Friday is I had, um, I spent time at work, my day job. So that's where that went. Um, so that was Friday. Then on Saturday, I slept in because I was exhausted. <laughs> I was like, okay, just going to sleep in. Um, so I missed my yoga class or I'd also planned to take a spinning class at my, my, at retro. That didn't happen either. But I did get out and go to the Cherry Blossom Festival at a, a town a couple minutes north or south of us. Um, then we went shopping at Lidl um, for groceries, which was fun and cheap, which I love. Um, and then I came home and watched Netflix. And then Sunday was um, my Sunday day. So that's sort of a week in review. Um, yeah, so moving on to my plan for this week. So um, I have a little remember note that I need to bring some materials for one of my lesson kids. Um, and then my week focus this week, because some people are out of the office and I will be having to relate with other people. And my focus is going to be number one, clear and clean communication. Be really clear in what I say. Um, think about it before I say it, read it back before I say it and then um, just being very clear. And the second focus is going to be process information, not personalities, because sometimes personalities can be a challenge to work with. And my goal is just to process information and not the personalities attached to the information or the questions. So that's that. Um, and then number three is again to finish each task because it's like a muscle, my finish things muscle. And that's getting stronger the more that I use it. So I really am appreciating that. So on to my weekly plan. So here we go. That will work there. So Monday I have a work day and I normally teach at the music studio after work, um, but I'm not going to do that because there is a school festival that the kids have, so they won't be in on Monday. They will be in instead on Thursday. So I, on Monday, my plan is to list then, which I think should be good because um, I'll kind of be a little bit motivated and I can just get right into it um, coming off the weekend. I'll be rested is what I mean. Um, Tuesday, I have work and then I'm planning to chill with some of my church friends. So that's exciting, my church girls. Uh, Wednesday, there is a concert for the group that I play with, so that's exciting. It's also the last concert I'm going to play with my, um, the director of that group, who is sort of my favorite, um, violin teacher. In the style of Jacqueline Dupre, I call him my, my violin daddy. He's just, he's, oh, he was amazing, and he's, um, I think he was the third main teacher that I had in my life, fourth main teacher, and he's the best. And I just love him so much. Um, so I'm sad because he's going to be moving down to Baltimore, Maryland. Um, so yeah, it's really sad and sort of memorable, but um, that's sort of like the capstone concert. So that's that. Um, 6 p.m. I'm going to be teaching at the studio on Thursday. Um, and then on Friday, Friday to Sunday, I actually have um, some time off of work. So I'm looking forward to that and sort of taking some time um, for um, the start of Holy Week. We have, um, I'm actually playing as well in a church by us, um, the Good Friday Tenebrae service. So I have that and then we leave on Saturday for a like a mini break vacation to the shore. So that is my plan for next week. Super looking forward to the time off. I have off Friday and Monday. So it's like a deep breath. Like I'm just gonna take a deep breath. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. So that's what we've got coming up for the week ahead. I'm looking forward to it. Excited for Easter. 
next Sunday, um, the cycle of sort of rebirth and resurrection. Hoping for really great things from that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful and I'm really enjoying doing these plan with me. So I'm, I'm hoping that, that you're enjoying watching them. So thanks again for watching and I hope you'll keep watching. Bye.